viewers, I have a letter. Dear International Taste Station, I'm sending you this strange drink that I found one day at work. Dandelion and Burdock, will you please try it on your show and let me know how it is? Okay. I got the photos from last night's party. Let's see them. Well, well of course, you and I were the first to arrive. Ugh, always. There we are. Oh, and Chicken made it out. So did Alan. I love Alan. It's always nice to see Alan. It is good to see Alan. Yeah? And then, geez, wouldn't you know, Mid showed up and brought Esther. Been a while since we've seen Esther. Yeah. I thought that was over. And then old Jim Costa came. Remember, he used to deliver us pop. Yeah. And then we asked him to leave. Yeah. Uh, ooh, this was surprising. Willie Elf Tanner made it. I thought he was on his honeymoon. And then, well, party favorites, Vince Coleman and Joe Tyrell. Ugh, great guys, great guys. Love them to death. Lovely guys. Oh. Joe, of course, nearly cleaned a set of liquor. Ah, <sighs> good times. Yep. Bikini Bonnie, well, she was almost here. I don't know what she got up to, but it was nice to see her. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> you know who couldn't make it, because he had a party of his own to attend, was the seagull. Fucking seagull. <sighs> Where was Smitty? Oh, he died again. Small island, you say? Off the coast of Costa Rica. Hmm. And, and they were growing the things there, and everything was, was great. Like it was, it was under control, and then this disgruntled nerd guy, he, he got in and did some hacking, and whoa. Hello, and welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week, in honor of our 100th episode, we are drinking a suite of soda offerings from Larry the Cable Guy. Get her done. There is a lot of, like, a citrus smell. Yeah, um, not lemon, the other one, lime. Yeah. A lot of lime right off the top. That's strange. Usually cola is more of a lemon, if anything. Mm. It's just a cheap... It's, it's cola. It's, it's just like a cheap watered down cola. It's Halloween cola from like the cheap part of town. Yep. fine. It's nothing special. No. It's just me. Very byway. Yes. Yes. Very byway. It's a little closer to the target, but it's still... It's... Nothing special. No. It's like a really cheap 7-Up that's flat. Only it's not flat. Smells incredibly root beer, but cheap and fake. It yep. smells like... Root beer popsicles. That Actually, it smells a little like Barks. Slightly. No. So it's supposed to be like what, Mountain Dew? I'm guessing, but it doesn't taste anything like that. So far I'd say it's the least worst. Reminds me of the orange drink you used to get at McDonald's. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's no Fanta. God, no. It's not. It's more in the crush direction, but it's not really crush either. No. It, it, it is more like a bubbly take on the old McDonald's drink. Yeah. Well, it's kind of disappointing. It's just your average cheap cream soda. It's not bad. It tastes like 
Big eight. Just hmm. a generic cream soda. Yeah, uh, grocery store generic. Yep. Nothing offensive. Mm -mm. That smells really good. Hmm. It more, smells more like, uh, like the actual... I was going to say the actual juice. No, I think it smells more like candy. Uh, it does remind me of those, those uh, pineapple gummy candies that we had. Yeah. I like so that. Good. Well, there's so little... I'm, I'm prepared to be totally told otherwise in the comments, but... <laughs> there's so little uh, pineapple pop on the market. True. That, um... There's enough to do two episodes, though. Yeah. But, um... I wouldn't say it's the best... I was gonna say there's so little on the market that it's hard to get it wrong, but that doesn't make any sense. You could fuck up anything. Yeah. It's not the best pineapple pop, but it's good. Mm, it's I fine. like it. I... Maybe I... Hmm... Maybe I think what I was going to say was there's so little pineapple on, pop on the market that if you like pineapple, there's no harm in buying it. Hmm. I think that's what I was going to mean. Yeah. Thanks. Um, hmm. So I think we can agree the overwhelming um, notes, opinion, theme, very, very generic. Yeah. Probably not a surprise. I don't think Larry is a uh, soda chemist or anything. I think nope. he probably sees a good mix, or knows a good mix when he sees it. Um, sure, he's probably an okay dude by times. Jeff Fox really likes him. I, I think that speaks volumes by his pop. Um, Meh. Height the generic. The, the cola? Not good. Bland. So bad. Well, one problem across all seven is there's no carbonation. It's very little. Yeah, like when, when you open it, there's no... It's just... Uh, the bottles were all really difficult to open, too, for some reason. But yeah... Uh, it's all very cheaply made. Like, it just seems very mm. cheap. The packaging, the labels... Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it is made by generic. Uh, yes, It's, it's yes. made by a company called natural stuff inc which oddly enough is a canadian company there's not really much we can say it's they're, just... they're, they're so generic that if you already have a favorite category of pop then... you, you already have your favorite yeah like yeah it kind of fills that role but i i, I do think that the pineapple was probably the best of pineapple is definitely the best out of all of them it is connected to a charity so i don't yes. want to be too yeah. disparaging on it because uh you know it's uh it says they, they do work for kids. Great. Veterans. Fine. Uh, well, more than fine, depending on the war. Um, but I don't... Maybe I don't. that's the reason why it's so cheaply made and just generic is because it's for charity. So yeah. less cost means more profits. More money to give to the charity. I don't know. Is, though, uh, here's what I would say. If you really want to give to charity, <clears throat> buy a pop you like and then give money to charity. Or, if you really want to give money to charity, just give money to a charity and skip the pop because it's really not good for you anyway. Yeah. That's the life lesson for today. So, Grand Champion of the Week... I think we can agree. Definitely the pineapple. Pineapple. Chicken? Chicken? How many episodes has the chicken been on? I don't know. He, he's, he's like the James May of the program. He showed up late. True enough. Well, that's all the time this week for International Taste Station. I hope you've learned something. I don't know what that might be. Donate to charity and don't drink pop? Yes, and uh, su support child veterans. So until next time, I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. Bye. Hmm. Really? I'm glad it says veterans and not vets, because that, that can be confusing.
You know, that this is to support those hard-working people who put down cats. They're the real heroes. They make too much money already. They don't need support. They came home. Where was their parade, man? I saved this dog. You know, had to I burst can't appendix. believe... Do don't... dogs have appendixes? I'm sure they do. They must. Yeah. I can't believe that uh, we've done well, well over a hundred of these because we have many episodes, so really. I can't. Jeez, you, you, you know, looking back though, you know what my favorite is? Oh, oh. Oh, no, no. It would have to be the molasses kisses. Why does he keep slapping soda on all these things? Like, we're going to think it's like, what? This is a root beer popsicle? American? Dummy.